Hello, hello, Year One artists. It's time to get creative again. We're going to be working with this pineapple today and it's inspired by Kate Malone, the artist who made this giant pineapple at Manchester Art Gallery. So, my friends, we're going to be drawing our pineapple. And the first thing that we need to do when we are drawing something is have a really good look at it. I want you all to get a little piece of paper and a pencil and you're going to have five minutes, only five minutes, to get your pineapple drawn onto your piece of paper. So I want you to start with the fruit, that's the bit at the bottom, and then we get into the leaves and everything else, but you only have five minutes to get all this detail in. Are you ready? It's time to stop the film, get your pencil and your paper, and time to get drawing your pineapple. Fantastic, see you in a bit. Welcome back. Here's my finished pineapple. I hope yours went well. Now, what if I was to say to you, I want you to draw five pineapples on one piece of paper and I want it in colour and I want them all to look exactly the same. Do you think you could do that in just five minutes for five pineapples? I doubt it. Let's give it a go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Here I am I'm drawing on my base, uh, the fruit bit, and I'm trying to, trying to get the same shape and get it exactly the same. Oh, that's already wrong. Oh, no. Right. I'll, I'll try again. I'll try another one. And another. Oh, they're all different. I'm, I can't make them the same at all, no matter how hard I try. Oh, 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 oh no. I just give up. That's impossible. An impossible task. But there is a way of doing it. Five pineapples in less than five minutes. And we're going to do it with some paint and a special technique called printing. What I want you to do is to put some yellow, blue, and red paint on your plate. Now we know from last half term that these are special, they're primary colours and we can mix them together to make other colours. And we're going to mix all three together to make brown, but I want a nice yellow in there as well. So what I want you to do is I want you to mix the blue, the red and the yellow at the top. Think of it as eyes and nose with a smiley face. And we can see that as we mix that, we're going to start getting a brown. If you don't like the shade of brown, you can add some more colour. Um, perhaps uh, this one needs a bit of a another shade to it. Um, but then I want you to streakily add the yellow from the bottom because I don't want it all beautifully mixed. If you think about what a pineapple looks like, it's very mottled. It's got yellow bits and brown bits. Now we're going to make some green paint and we're going to use our two primary colours, our blue and our yellow, to mix up and make a lovely green. And I want you to spread this over your whole plate I think that needs a bit more yellow there, make it a bit brighter. And feel free to do that, feel free to add a little bit more of one colour or another. So we want one plate that's got green paint on and one plate that has got a brownie streaky yellow. And now we're going to use some sponges. And I've cut these into shapes. I've used a pair of scissors and I've cut this into a rounded shape and I've cut this one into leaf shape. And this is a special technique called printing. And we're going to use these now and we're gonna create repeat patterns. That means where we do the same thing over and over again. So I'm holding it by the green bit and I'm dabbing in the spongy bit into the paint. Now if there's any gaps like I had there, dip it back in the paint. Get it right to the edge at the bottom and push. Let's have a look. <gasps> Brilliant! That's our first pineapple and we do the same thing over and over again. Add the next one. And here we go for the next one. Now, you've got one pineapple shape and one leaf shape between two of you. So one of you might want to start doing the leaves while the other one is doing the pineapple at the bottom. And then you can swap round. So here I go, I've got five pineapples, all the same shape. I'm making sure I get lots of nice green all over so there's no gaps, keep checking. And then we can print. So this is a repeat pattern print when we're doing the same thing over and over again. In this case, it's pineapples, but it could be absolutely anything. And there we are, number three, pineapple. And can we see we're actually managing to make five pineapples in less than five minutes in colour, pretty well looking the same. 
Mission accomplished. Fantastic. Five pineapples, five minutes with the help of some sponges and some paint. Thank you very much, sponges and paint. So that's your challenge for the rest of the lesson. Five pineapples printed. All right, everyone. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye.